Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about CBC test in pregnancy. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the useful and valuable information with you. During pregnancy, a lot of tests are performed on a regular basis. These tests are done to ensure the health of expecting mother and the fetus. One of the tests is CBC test, that is complete blood count test. CBC test is also done on a regular basis in an expecting mother. Now, let us know what is CBC test. CBC test is complete blood count test that is done to check overall health status. It is done in early stages of pregnancy to determine any health-related risk to mother and the fetus. This test monitor red blood cells that help in carry oxygen throughout the body. If levels of iron in your blood is low, then you might also be prescribed with medicines of iron. CBC also determines RBCs, WBCs, platelets, hematocrit, hemoglobin, and MVP. Now, here's a question. Is this test necessary or can I skip it? This test indeed is very necessary. This helps in diagnosing illness and infections in expecting mother. Now, what does this test measure? It measures RBC. RBCs are the red blood cells that carry oxygen throughout the body. The level of RBCs and hemoglobin can indicate the amount of oxygen that is carried from mother to the fetus. It also tells about the possible capabilities. If the level of hemoglobin is low, it makes the woman prone to fatigue and infection. Iron supplements and folic acid is given to correct the situation. Now, let's talk about WBCs, that is white blood cells. White blood cells play a very important role in human body. They help us fight infections. There are five types of WBCs for which we do CBC differential test. All the five WBCs are very important for our immune system. WBCs, which means all five types of WBCs, are mainly responsible for keeping the mother and the fetus away from any sort of infection. It can also help us to find out if the mother has any blood-related disorders, which includes sickle cell anemia. Now, let's talk about platelets. Platelets also play a very major role in human body. Platelets are responsible for clotting the blood. If the platelet count is very low, it means it may take much longer to clot or heal the wound. And on the other side, if the platelet count is very high, then the mother might be at risk of internal hemorrhage. Now, how can you prepare for this test? If you're only being tested for CBC, then it does not require any preparation. But if you're taking another test along with CBC, then you might need to fast for several hours before the test. How is CBC test done? Getting CBC test done is very quick and very easy. It may require less than 5 minutes. For this test, a small amount of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm, mainly at the site of elbow joint, which is then sent to the laboratory and the results are given in a day or two. What do the results really mean? If your WBC count is very low, it means you may be prone to infections. If your RBC count is low, it means you may have anemia. Or if your RBC count is very high, then it may mean you have a heart disease. Also, a low score on HCT may reveal that you have iron deficiency. For iron deficiency, you might be given some iron supplements and folic acid. If your RBCs are bigger than normal, it means your MCV goes up. And if your MCV goes up, it means that you have low vitamin B12. And if your RBCs are smaller, it is also a type of anemia. CBC test is done in early pregnancy. Along with that, it is also done in each of the trimesters. The normal range of CBC results vary from each trimester. CBC is also one of the most important tests. Not only to check overall health, it is also very important for the fetus. Also, it is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.